Get this $200 discount certificate and free awning idea kit. Call now for your free awning idea kit and $200 discount certificate. Call 1-800-492-8511. The stakes are high for tonight's vice presidential debate, as you might imagine. Political analysts say that Governor Sarah Palin will need to convince voters that she understands the issues and has enough experience. Now, they say that Senator Biden needs to show that he can deliver concise answers and attack the McCain campaign without look like he is bullying Palin. Watch the debate tonight on CNN at 9 p.m. Eastern. And if you miss it, we have the replay tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Eastern. The moderator of tonight's debate is defending herself against criticism of her upcoming book. CBS and Make That PBS anchor Gwen Ifill's book is titled The Breakthrough, Politics and Race in the Age of Obama. Some conservatives say that the book raises doubts about whether she can be a fair moderator. Eiffel tells the Associated Press that the book will discuss how politics have changed in the black community since the civil rights era. It will include a section on Senator Obama's campaign, but Eiffel says that she hasn't even written that part yet. Senator John McCain said he's concerned but thinks that Eiffel will be professional. Eiffel tells the AP that people can watch the debate and decide for themselves how she did. She adds that she did not tell the commission on presidential debates about the book. In our salute to the troops, this one, it's, it's such an emotional one. Mitzi sounds, to me, very emotional talking about her two sons and daughter-in-law deployed to Afghanistan last weekend. That's Brian Franklin and Samantha Scroggins, and they're not expected home for at least a year. I'm Mitzi Baker from Holiday Shores, Illinois, and I'd like to send a salute to my son and daughter-in-law. Again, we are saying goodbye, and our hopes and dreams and prayers ride with you as you go to Afghanistan. We're proud of what you have done for us in Iraq, and we will all miss you and hope to see you next year. And Mitzi, I really hope that year goes by fast for you. Thank you so much. And if you have somebody in the service, go to CNN.com slash Robin so we can salute them on the air. The Senate approved a financial bailout. Um, the Senate approved financial bailout has a lot of people riled up, obviously. Jennifer has been responding to your blog entries all morning, and she's here now with more of your comments. So, Jen, most people, I know when we take polls, most people say that they did not want it. But now that the Senate has passed it, what questions are you reading? Well, people really are weighing in more with their comments on this. Uh, so Bill from Ohio says, you know, you still got this argument raging. If the banks made bad choices based on stupidity or greed, sorry about their luck. I, for one, have made mistakes, and I've paid for them. He said, funny, I didn't make those same mistakes again. So Bill saying that he learned from his mistakes, and he thinks that maybe the bank should have to as well. The trouble with this, though, the reason that there are so many people who are upset about this, you know, if there was a couple of banks here and there, I don't think that we would have such a big to-do about this. The problem is all the people and the companies and the churches and the schools and the towns who have invested here. So not only would the banks pay for it, but all of those groups would be paying for it as well. Not only could they lose what they have, but we could have people losing jobs and businesses failing. And I think a lot of people are writing in that they think that that is scare tactics. But, you know, history shows us during past crises when credit markets freeze up, the longer they stay locked up, the deeper that the damage is. I'm sorry to tell you that. I don't think that it's meant to be a scare tactic. It's people who are looking at history and saying, this is what happened before. How can we prevent it from happening? So everybody else can pay for it. Now, here's Daniel, though, who says, you know, I'm furious. If we bail out poor investment strategy, what makes America think that Wall Street won't make those bad investments again? It's like if you're in the supermarket and you see a little kid throw a fit until he gets the candy he wants. Guess what he's going to do the next time? And this is an excellent point that Daniel is bringing up, and it's called the moral hazard argument, really, right? Like, if we do this, then everybody else doesn't have to be responsible for their decisions anymore. They can make a decision, they can be irresponsible, and they can think, well, if I fail, the government will just bail me out. Uh, I frankly believe, you know, I suspect, and you'll hear all the lawmakers say this, that in the future, they're probably going to talk about a lot more regulations that go into place. It's just that they're the kind of regulations that could take months to sort out, and what many, you know, financial experts and lawmakers think right now is that we don't necessarily have that kind of time. But this debate rages on. Uh, it's going on the blog. Go ahead there. People are having all kinds of different uh, things to say there, including, maybe we'll get to it next time, Robin, the one where people say, why, don't, why doesn't the government just give me the money? It's all at CNN.com slash Robin. Go to the blog. You bet. Thank you very, very much.
Um, we have a confrontation that's caught on tape. It's a grown man punching a teenage girl at the McDonald's, and you won't believe why he supposedly did this. You make me feel something like summertime. <laughs> What you want next? 90%. We know what it takes to be a tiger. See insights from our research and experience with high performers. Accenture. High performance delivered. Somewhere romantic. Somewhere amazing. Somewhere exotic. Somewhere unforgettable at a price you won't forget. Sandals Grand Antigua. Fly free plus save up to an extra 40%. For full offer details, call 1-800-SANDALS or visit sandals.com. 12%. Chance that someday you will accidentally hit reply all. 15%. What you can save on ground shipping at FedEx office over the UPS store. FedEx. Presenting the Travelocity Race to Saving Sale. Save up to 50% on vacations to our top hotels. But hurry, because like the amazing race, you gotta be fast. Closed captioning hours provided by Passages Addiction Cure Center, Malibu, California. Drinking too much? or taking too many drugs? My book, The Alcoholism and Addiction Cure, will absolutely save your life. To get it, call 888-THE-CURE. Today is the day that the House leadership will be working to persuade its members to approve the big financial bailout proposal. Uh, the Senate passed their version.